Imagine booting up a computer and, instead of the usual cold login screen or familiar corporate minimalism, you're greeted by something that feels more like a living artwork than an operating system. The colors are rich but balanced, animations flow like water, the desktop feels handcrafted rather than assembled, and every detail seems to whisper that someone, somewhere, deeply cared about how this experience should feel. This is the moment when many people realize that Linux is no longer just about power users, terminals, or server rooms. It has evolved into something visually stunning, emotionally engaging, and in some cases, shockingly beautiful. Today, we're diving into what many consider the most beautiful Linux distro you won't believe actually exists, and why it completely changes the way people think about Linux as a desktop operating system. For years, Linux carried a reputation that was hard to shake. It was seen as functional but plain, powerful but ugly, flexible but fragmented. Windows focused on familiarity, macOS focused on polish, and Linux focused on freedom and control. But somewhere along the way, a new generation of Linux developers and designers decided that freedom didn't have to look boring and control didn't have to feel intimidating. They asked a simple question. What if Linux could be as beautiful or even more beautiful than anything else on the market? The result of that question is a distro that doesn't just look good, it feels intentional from the moment you power it on. The first thing that hits you is the visual coherence. Everything feels like it belongs together. The icons share a unified style, the color palette is consistent across apps, and the system UI doesn't feel like a patchwork of different eras. Fonts are carefully chosen, spacing feels natural, and even system dialogues look like they were designed as part of a larger vision rather than added as an afterthought. This is the kind of polish people usually associate with expensive proprietary software. Yet here it is, running on Linux, completely free and open source. As you move your mouse, animations subtly guide your eyes. Windows don't just appear. They glide into place. Menus don't snap open, they unfold smoothly. These animations are not flashy for the sake of it. They're restrained, tasteful, and purposeful, making the system feel alive without being distracting. It's the kind of detail that most people don't consciously notice, but once it's there, it's impossible to go back. Suddenly, Using your computer feels less like issuing commands to a machine and more like interacting with a well-crafted environment. The desktop layout itself is a masterclass in modern design. Instead of cluttering the screen with icons and widgets, it embraces clarity and focus. Panels are slim and elegant, docks are translucent and responsive, and every element respects your screen space. Whether you're on a laptop or a large monitor, the interface adapts beautifully, maintaining balance and proportion. This is especially impressive when you remember that Linux has to run on an almost infinite variety of hardware configurations, yet here, it feels perfectly tailored. What truly sets this distro apart, though, is how deeply the design philosophy goes. This isn't just a pretty theme slapped on top of a generic system. The beauty is woven into the entire experience. System settings are organized logically and presented cleanly. Configuration tools are intuitive and visually consistent, even advanced options are displayed in a way that feels welcoming rather than overwhelming. For new users, this removes a huge psychological barrier. For experienced users, it feels like a reward for years of compromise. One of the most surprising aspects is how approachable it feels. Many people assume that a visually stunning Linux distro must be complicated or resource-heavy, but this one defies expectations. It runs smoothly on modest hardware, balancing eye candy with performance in a way that feels almost magical. The developers clearly understand that beauty isn't just about visuals. It's about responsiveness, stability, and flow. A beautiful system that stutters or crashes quickly loses its charm, and that mistake has been carefully avoided here. The default applications continue this sense of refinement. The file manager is not only fast but elegant, with previews that feel instant and layouts that make sense. The terminal, often seen as a purely functional tool, has been given subtle aesthetic touches that make it more inviting without compromising its power. Media players, text editors, and system monitors all share a consistent look and feel, reinforcing the idea that this distro is a complete experience rather than a loose collection of parts. Then there's the color. Color is used with confidence but restraint. Instead of overwhelming you with neon accents or dull grays, the palette strikes a perfect balance. Dark modes are truly dark, not washed out, and light modes feel soft rather than harsh. Accent colors are applied where they matter, 
guiding attention and adding personality. This careful use of color has a real psychological impact, making long work sessions more comfortable and casual use more enjoyable. Typography plays an equally important role. The fonts chosen are modern, readable, and versatile. Headings feel distinct without being loud, body text is easy on the eyes, and code looks clean and sharp. It's the kind of typographic quality usually reserved for professionally designed interfaces, yet here it's part of a Linux desktop you can install in minutes. This attention to text alone can dramatically change how premium the system feels. Beyond the surface, the distro's philosophy shines through in how it treats the user. You're not constantly nagged with prompts, ads, or unnecessary notifications. The system respects your attention. Updates happen smoothly and transparently, without interrupting your workflow. When something does require your input, it's explained clearly, without jargon or condescension. This respectful approach is a big part of why using the system feels so good. Beauty isn't just visual. It's emotional. Customization is another area where this distro excels. While it looks stunning out of the box, it doesn't lock you into a single vision. Themes, layouts, and behaviors can be adjusted easily, allowing you to personalize the experience without breaking the overall aesthetic. This is a delicate balance to strike, and many systems fail at it. Here, customization feels like collaboration between you and the designers rather than a fight against the system. The community around this distro also contributes to its beauty in an unexpected way. Forums, documentation, and tutorials often reflect the same care and clarity found in the system itself. Guides are well-written, screenshots are consistent, and newcomers are welcomed rather than mocked. This human element reinforces the idea that this distro is not just a technical project, but a creative one driven by people who genuinely care about user experience. It's impossible to talk about beauty without mentioning inspiration, and this distro clearly draws inspiration from multiple worlds. You can see hints of macOS elegance, touches of modern web design, and the flexibility that Linux is known for. Yet it never feels like a cheap imitation. Instead, it blends these influences into something uniquely its own. This originality is perhaps the most impressive aspect of all. It's not trying to be Windows or Mac OS. It's confidently Linux, just expressed through a different lens. For creators, this distro can be genuinely inspiring. Writers, designers, developers, and video editors often talk about how their tools affect their mindset. Sitting down at a beautiful, calm, and responsive desktop can make work feel less like a chore and more like a craft. When the environment supports creativity instead of fighting it, productivity often follows naturally. This distro seems to understand that deeply. Even gaming, an area where Linux once struggled, feels surprisingly polished here. Graphics drivers are handled smoothly. Game launchers integrate cleanly with the system, and performance is solid. But what stands out is how seamlessly gaming fits into the overall aesthetic. Nothing feels bolted on or out of place. You can switch from editing a document to launching a game without feeling like you've entered a completely different ecosystem. Security and privacy, core values of Linux, are also handled gracefully. Instead of bombarding you with scary warnings or complex options, the system presents security features in a calm, understandable way. You feel protected without feeling restricted. This balance adds another layer to the overall sense of trust and comfort that defines the experience. As you spend more time with this distro, you start noticing small details that reveal just how much thought went into it. The way notifications stack neatly without overlapping important content. The way the system remembers your preferences without constantly asking. The way power management works quietly in the background, extending battery life without aggressive throttling. These details don't make flashy headlines, but they're what transform a good-looking system into a truly beautiful one. What makes all of this even more astonishing is that it exists in the open source world. This level of polish is often assumed to require massive budgets and closed development. Yet here it's achieved through collaboration, passion, and a shared vision. It challenges the assumption that open source has to compromise on aesthetics. In fact, it suggests the opposite. When people build software because they love it, the results can be extraordinary. For someone coming from Windows or Mac OS, encountering this distro can feel almost surreal. There's a moment of disbelief, a sense that something doesn't add up. How can a free operating system look this good, feel this smooth, and still offer the freedom and control Linux is famous for? That moment is exactly why this distro deserves attention. It breaks expectations and invites curiosity. 
and perhaps that's its greatest achievement. It doesn't just look beautiful, it changes perceptions. It makes people reconsider what Linux can be, who it's for, and what the future of desktop computing might look like. It proves that beauty and freedom are not mutually exclusive, and that thoughtful design can coexist with deep customization and technical power. In a world where many operating systems feel increasingly restrictive or commercially driven, this distro feels refreshingly human. It feels like something made for people, not metrics. It invites exploration without demanding expertise, and it rewards curiosity without punishing mistakes. That sense of trust and openness is rare, and it adds a final, intangible layer to its beauty. So when people say that Linux desktops are boring, outdated, or ugly, this distro stands as a quiet but confident rebuttal. It doesn't need to shout or show off. It simply exists, elegant and composed, waiting for someone to discover it and realize that Linux has evolved far beyond old stereotypes. And once you experience it for yourself, it's hard not to wonder how many other hidden gems are waiting out there in the open source world, redefining what we thought was possible. This is why many consider it the most beautiful Linux distro in existence. Not just because of how it looks, but because of how it feels to use. It's proof that software can be both powerful and poetic, both free and refined. And once you see it, once you really use it, you might find yourself thinking the same thing everyone else does when they first encounter it. I can't believe this actually exists.